My two nephews, okay? Pretty fun. Pulled out the toys for the kid. And some big mess everywhere. I haven't cleaned it up because I like having a kid's toy mess around for right now. But she brought me over this. Smart ass coffee. Cheeky, bright, and precocious. Right? Kicking horse coffee. You know? Where is it? Wake up and kick ass. Look at that. So, this is pretty cool. You know, she also brought over these things like bean crisps. Look at that. Rebellion. Yeah. Our little rebellion born in Liberty, New York. You know, these things are like, apparently, you know, the, the, the greatest things ever for, you know, people who just, you know, can't have anything in their diets. Dairy free, there you go, good source of fiber, peanut and tree nut free, double press for extra crunchiness, and what? Vegan. Whatever. Okay, look at that, gluten free, and everything's good, and non-GMO, and wow. You know? I see rebellion. Look at that. Read it backwards. N-O. And let's go with the top of the eye. Or the bottom of the eye. That looks like a three. Let's take the bottom of the eye and continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, seven. And that eye is the letter, so there's nine characters. Three, seven, and nine. Probably find some, uh, one of seven of 13 of 110 in here, but, you know, who wants to decode bean crisps? You know? Just smart asses, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to put away my records and stuff, you know, like, go. we got a bunch that need to go to their homes. So, yeah, grabbed a little stack just for fun. Okay, this one's pretty special to me. This album is like one of 500 copies pressed. Okay, this is the original pressing of Arkell's Jackson Square debut album. I know, nothing fancy, right? It's just another album. Oh boy, I see lots of stuff here. Okay, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's one album. One of seven. Okay, where's your 13? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Huh. Where's your 110? Well, that's the one dimensional line. That's the one dimensional line. And that well, looks like a big zero. So that's your 110. Anyways, so then this was a good album. I really like this one. You know, Canadian band. That one's pretty good. You know, that one's pretty good. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Some radio songs, okay? Now, I did actually buy their follow up album, which was much less awesome. Now, let's look at this for a second. Well, right away, I see 3, 7, and 9 code, okay? I see the arc, or the upside down V, R, K. 3, 3, 3. You know, your three, whatever you want to pick, your three. We have one, two, three, you know, pick one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we all know that's supposed to be an E. Okay, where's your nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, look at that. Arkell's three, seven, and nine. It's also one album of seven. All right, where's your 13? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and where's your 110? Well, to me, that would be your 1, and that looks like a big 0, and that looks like a big 0, and the upside down backwards and flipped of 100 is 110. I went over that a while ago. Whatever, you can draw it down on a piece of paper. What I find interesting about this one, look at this, Agent Zero. What did I just put a movie out about? Counting f zero. One, two, three, four different ways for the four corners of the earth, you know? The four zeros that don't count, you know? When you have 88 plus 8 plus 4 times 0 is 96, which are your X, Y, and Z axes worth of magnets in a free energy device, which are 96 magnets. Whistleblower, that's me, guy. Bloodlines. I've talked about bloodlines before in my uh, depiction of creation. If the Earth is one of seven of 13 of 110, that's where I believe all the RH positives live, okay? That's where their light or souls or like whatever blood, I don't know what the blood has to do with everything, but I do understand that one of eight of 21 of uh, 200 and I don't remember. Anyways, 
I did some stuff in the past about the blood types and the Rh negative and Rh positive and why there is a 15% Rh negative population out there. One of my first videos on this channel. One foot out the door, kiss cam, coffee, of course. Coffee. Where are you going, guy? Yeah, you gotta do shit on paper. Okay? In my earlier videos, I did everything with crayons because I thought it was such a joke because I'm like literally the comedian. All right, so the, the next albums I have out here, I just put out a few with, a, you know, with a theme of light. Okay, there's In Bloom, Nirvana. This I got on Record Store Day back in the day, okay? In Bloom, yeah, flowers. You know, three, mix four, mix five. Anyways, what we got in here? We got like Polly and Silver, you know, Polly. I like Polly. That's a good song. There's In Bloom, just about light. And we got Talking Heads, you know, like this album, Remain in Light. So this is the jacket for the record itself, and you can see it's actually like reversed. So on the cover, which is in one of these piles, you know, the wording is like white and black, and these guys are different colors, and you know, this is just like the negative, so it's kind of funny, and the four quadrants and everything. I don't really get into one of seven, thirteen of 110 or 379 and everything. Well, here's a good one. Interpol, turn on the bright lights. Okay. Oh, that's some light. Focus you. There we go. Obviously, Dark Side of the Moon is going to make it. Because, you know, on the last day of Genesis 1, okay, what was created? Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. I believe that the phases of the Moon are caused by phase cancellation of the luminaries. Because there's a trinity of them, okay? And I believe that they're turning. I talked about this earlier too. So sometimes you get a half the moon. So let's say my middle finger is the moon. Sometimes you get a full moon. Sometimes you get a half the moon with something in front of it so it'll cut out a piece this way. And then sometimes you have a half a moon with a cut out piece the other way. Understand? So like, you know, that's just my thoughts on, you know, that dark side of the moon. The moon is the last luminary created. The moon is the furthest luminary away from the, the ground. You know, like the, the dirt and the water of Earth, okay? We did not go to the moon. Man has not been to the moon. You cannot go through the magnetic fields that are required for you to get to the moon. I'm gonna end with that, about the moon. And uh, of course, you know, like, well, well, what do we got here? So, you know, the gatefold, so, you know, this is the proper way. And then we got a bunch of these, you know, like, oh, look, green, what's green? Your heart chakra, yeah. That's all over the place, because it's, you know, it's where your pulse is and your heart. Well, that's very, very interesting. What's on the back cover? Oh, okay, it's upside down. Uh, upside down for the back cover. Upside down, backward, and flip. Anyway. This one's, I threw this one in for fun. Who are you? Yeah. Yeah, keep clear. Electrical area. Because man is electric. Yeah. We got over that. Bunch of wires and cables. I think I even decoded this album a while ago. I don't remember. Anyway. Oh, this is a good one. You go Canadian band, Mother Mother Eureka. Yeah, I feel like that sometimes, guy. Eureka, chasing it down the stand. I think I'm taking a stand. Baby, don't dance. No, I don't dance. Right? I'm not your little monkey. Original spin, spin. Yeah, you're spinning Earth. Born in a flash. Yeah, that's for spark. Simply simple, because that's what it's supposed to be, guy. Simply simple. Problems, aspiring fires, getaway, far in time. Oleander, calm me down. Well, no kidding. 442, obviously, right? Anyways, yeah, these guys are like, you know, totally not Masons or anything. It's cool. And this one, this one I just thought for fun. Dinosaur Jr. This is like a special album I heard. This is Elizabeth. I bought this when she was born, so when we moved to the farm. Because I felt like that was like the mom and dad, and we were bringing home the little babe. You know, the little other babe. Really? It was like... Is there any life on that tree? Yeah, there's a little bit of life growing. Life is cool. You know? Dinosaur Junior Farm. Yeah, that's a pretty good album. Yeah, we left. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We left. We left that. You know where your food comes from? Or like, I bet you all the hummus you buy in the store isn't even like sprouted. You know, like, you want to sprout stuff and then you want to eat it. You want to eat it while it's living. You don't want to eat it while it's dead. I was told a story about uh, someone in Nepal went to go visit Nepal with my buddies, and then 
he said that he's never seen someone use a liter of water so efficiently because they'd like literally pick through all the rice grains of rice and pull out anything that was a half rice or something that because it's not, not if it's a half a broken grain it's not going to produce a sprout which means it's dead and they don't eat that and they don't serve it to their family so they pick it all out they'd sprout them they'd use the water to rinse other things you know and then after a couple of days when it was all done they put it in the pot and they went into the soup and it had maximum whateverness but yeah what do we got here pieces yeah I want you to know yeah really I do you know truth about creation ocean in the way plans your weather over it over it yeah friends said the people there's no here see you I don't want to go there imagination blind anyways so I'm not always serious I'm not always yelling at people I'm not always doing math I think math is the scariest subject for most people because they were taught it poorly and if you if, if actually you meet someone and say they don't enjoy school, didn't enjoy learning, they just couldn't get it fast enough and it just frustrated them, they gave up on it, it was usually because of math and their math teachers. Math is very important. All right? I don't really like the public school system or education system. It's just not what I ever wanted for my children. I don't want them to have to repeat the same mistakes that I did growing up. You know? Going through the indoctrination. Okay, like, again, bring it back to Star Wars, guys! And it's Anakin Skywalker, Okay? He knows that the Jedi are keeping things from him. They're not letting him run with it. They're holding him back, he feels. He's frustrated. <sighs> okay? It's the same thing as the Freemason game of creation and how they hide it and show it to us in plain sight, upside down, backwards, and flipped, and everything, okay? So, I don't know, like, you know, this could all be coincidence. I could be making this stuff up in my mind. I don't think I am, okay? I am seeing a numerical mathematical pattern in everything. 3, 7, 9, 1 of 7 of 13 of 110. Lots more patterns, okay? 1 of 4 of 5 of 6 of 0 is Armageddon. It can be looked at that way, or it can be looked at 3 of 4 of 5 of 6. It all depends. So, funny. I saw the Ogtalis video, okay? He kind of made, made a shout out to me about 25 minutes in, I think, about the video montage I put up for him with a bunch of code, no words. And I've been trying my best to kind of put up summaries so that like I can save people's time. But I don't want to give a summary without you having to watch a lot of the time of videos about creation and my struggle through it. So what I would rather do is talk to people in the flesh. Like, I have a Google Hangout. Hey, look, my email is my name, kevin.janik at gmail.com. I would love to hear from whoever, okay? Whoever thinks they want to advance humanity, okay? I believe I understand the mathematical principles and the formulas of the creation of cellular energy, cellular free energy, because wind, solar, okay, water, energy, it all requires a fuel, nuclear, hydro, like again, it all requires a fuel. If you don't have sun, you don't have energy. If you don't have wind, you don't have energy. If you don't have a current, you don't have energy. That's why we damn things and flood the glorious nature that's out there to, to try to you know, monopoly corporations, the Freemasons, you know, like they want to like own energy and sell it to us, you know, in exchange for us slaving for them because they want to pay us $7, or I'm getting what, $12 an hour. So like they can make $35 million, you know, on their corporation. They don't give a shit about us. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about me. Anyone who has a secret is not trustworthy. If you have something to hide, if you're a Freemason, if you're in a religious group or like a, like a priest or something and that like sect you know like you, you could be other like fucking knights of templar for all i know okay you don't think this is ancient knowledge you don't think i can like look at hieroglyphics and read it you know you don't understand how much of this i am okay guy like it's all code it's the same story told over and over and over again okay i the people know about it and the people that know about it Put out there, in plain sight. And one day they will be caught. I, I keep thinking of The Dark Knight Rises. Isn't that the movie where the Scarecrow character, you no, know, in Batman, was the judge? And he judged all of the elite. And normally sentenced them to death. Now, I don't want to do that, because I think everyone is worth forgiving. I think everyone has good and bad inside them. And everyone can change, okay? And it's not about Jesus. It's not about God. It's about being good to people. It's about being a, a collective. It's about understanding oneness. It's about understanding the way things are going and how a very few select group fuck over everyone else to get ahead in life. That has to change. And if you think that should change, then 
rock on guys okay right on now in my last video I think I mentioned moist remember moist the album creature resurrection leave it alone